you're new here, I'm Hillary. I post videos weekly on this channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing how to make your Thanksgiving turkey inside of an Instant Pot. And I am in love, guys. This is the easiest recipe and the fastest way to make a turkey. And if you're like me, we are a family of three, so we don't need a huge turkey for Thanksgiving. And we normally celebrate on our own just because we don't have family in town. This year we are visiting family, but I still wanted to show this recipe for you guys in case you are making a smaller turkey this year and you have an Instant Pot. This makes the best turkey. It is flavor infused, tender, juicy, and not dry at all. And it was only done in 44 minutes and then we broiled it in the oven for about 10 minutes. This is so easy to make, so I wanted to share the recipe with you guys and show you how easy a Thanksgiving turkey can be done. And if you're wondering what's beside the turkey, I actually made a video on these garlic monkey bread little cups and I will be uploading that soon, so be on the lookout for that. And if you like cooking videos, give this video a like and comment down below one thing that you are thankful for. I know I'm thankful for my family and I am happy that I get to celebrate this year alongside my family. And without further ado, let's get into making this Instant Pot Turkey recipe. The first thing that we're going to do is pat the turkey dry with some paper towels, that way the butter mixture that we're going to rub on it sticks a little bit better. Here I'm just taking lots of butter and combining a lot of different herbs like basil, parsley, oregano, lots and lots of herbs, pepper, salt, garlic powder, and I did take a little bit of chicken seasoning. I know it's very weird, but it works. And then what you want to do is combine everything together and make sure everything's evenly distributed throughout the butter. Now what you want to do next is take the butter mixture and just shove it in between the meat and the skin and just go around the whole turkey repeating the same process. And then once you've done this step, go ahead and put the turkey uncovered in your fridge for a few hours. I left mine in for three hours. Once a few hours went by, I went ahead and chopped up one onion and just put it at the bottom of the Instant Pot. And I also added sofrito. It's just a mixture of green peppers, onions, garlic, and oil, cilantro. And I just put that at the bottom. And I did add some chicken broth. Um, I just didn't film that. So about half a cup of chicken broth I added at the bottom of the Instant Pot because you do need liquid whenever you're cooking something instead of the Instant Pot. Here I'm just taking the butter that fell off when I transferred the turkey from the tray and I'm just putting it on top and just spreading that around. My turkey was a little bit over seven pounds. I definitely recommend it just to be under seven pounds because I did have to maneuver it a little bit to get it to fit. So if you have a smaller turkey, it would be a lot easier to get it to fit. I went ahead and put it under the pressure cook setting for 44 minutes because it is 6 minutes per pound and I just added an extra minute because it was a little bit over the 7 pounds. And once you relieve the pressure, we are ready to open our Instant Pot to reveal our delicious turkey and now we're going to go ahead and pop it in the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer the turkey from the Instant Pot into a tray. And then we're gonna broil it on 500 for 10 minutes or until golden brown. Now this part is all on you. Just keep an eye on your turkey and whenever you see that it's getting nice and crispy, you can go ahead and take it out of the oven. This is the final result. It was so juicy, tender, flavorful, and super easy to carve out, as you can see right here. All right, guys, I told you, I told you that that was really easy to do. I really hope you try this recipe out if you have an Instant Pot. I strongly recommend this year-round because I like to eat turkey year-round, and I know for sure this will be a staple to do in our recipes. And if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, join our family, and do not miss my next video, and it is making these garlic monkey bread cups. So definitely stick around for that. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.